In this video, we are going to go through how to create a landing page in Travify's Page Builder, including how to add a trip, a form, and how to promote them. The first thing we're going to want to do is select the page option at the top left. From here, we're taken into our page builder. I'm going to grab the drop down arrow at the top here. This is going to show me all of my current pages, but I'm also allowed to create as many more new pages as I want. For today, I'm just going to select my Cancun landing page that I've already created out a little bit, and we're going to add some content in together. Now, landing pages are just singular pages designed to be standalone marketing pages that you can customize for various things such as a travel landing page, which is what this example is made to be, uh, to promote trips or packages or cruises, or even if you do destination weddings, there's a lot of different uses you can use this for. Now, if you've never created a page in here, I always recommend going to your edit page button first and filling out these three tabs as best you can, because this is going to give you a good starting point and lay a good foundation for the rest of your trip. To point out a few big ticket items, firstly is that page slug in your page tab. This is the customizable piece to your URL. So if you are doing group trips, Put the group name as for the page slug. That's a really great way to promote it online on social media or even to the friends and family who are going. Another thing is that you can rearrange what we call these elements. You're going to be given a set of elements in a specific order. And if you want to rearrange the flow of that order, you can do so easily just by dragging and dropping it where you want to go. The next tab over is your theme. This is where you can input a theme color as well as choose from the different themes we have available. These different themes are going to have a little bit of a different look for each one, but go in and choose the one that you like best. You can always come back in later and change it. And last but not least, SEO and social. This is where you can put in an SEO site description as well as a social media image. This is going to make it look really professional if you're sharing this link online on a social media platform later. But once you have everything set, make sure to click save. But as you can see, I have some elements already created in here. And the thinking behind a lot of this is if you see something you want to edit, click on it and the menu to edit it is going to appear at the top right for you and just move from the top to the bottom. That makes it a little less overwhelming. But let's go ahead, let's add in an element together. As I said before, you're going to be given a set amount of elements, but once you have the ones you want, maybe deleted out the ones you don't want, select the new element option at the top right, and you're going to get a full list of all of the elements available to you. For today, I'm going to drag and drop over this trip gallery element. Once I drop it in, it'll populate, and the menu to edit it is already going to be open for me to put some information in. So for right now, I might call this Cancun 2024. And maybe I want to put in one of my itineraries into this card or this section. To do so, I'm going to select the pencil icon. And from here, I can edit those details, just again, moving my way from top to bottom. But if you are having an itinerary connected that you've already created in Travify, select that import option first actually, and then select trip. From here, you're going to get all of your list of trips that you've already created, but you can always use the search option as well. So for me, I'm gonna search all inclusive, select search, and I'm going to grab this first or the second one right here. And by doing so, it's going to populate the cover photo I had already on there, as well as the title and if I had included prices. You can still edit those images or change the image out if you had wanted to, but this is going to make it just a little bit easier in terms of the manual work you're going to have to put in. Now, let's go ahead. I'm going to put in some different description here. I'm going to just copy and paste some items from my other window. And for the badge area, let's put in maybe the date that this would be going out. Once I am happy with everything, I'll select save. And maybe I don't have anything to put in these other two cards right here. So I'm going to locate those three dots, which in Travify just means we can delete it, remove them and select save. Let's go ahead, select preview to see how this looks. Previewing is going to allow us to test those buttons out to make sure they're working the way we want it to. 
And as you can see, just by selecting view trip, we get the regular itinerary that we are typically used to seeing. We can still click into these different images or videos and links. I'm exiting that preview now. And the other really important thing you want to make sure to include on a landing page, besides messaging, your itinerary, any important details, is a form to capture interested clients or travelers information. One element that's really great for this purpose is our call to action element. I'm going to click into this and we can see the name of it here on the menu. But a call to action is really the last push to people to reach out if they haven't already. So we want to include some really good messaging to really entice them to reach out, but also make it really easy for them to reach out in the first place. So this is where buttons come in really handy. I'm going to select that add button option. And again, work your way from top to bottom. Think to yourself, what do I want this button to do? Do I want it to go to an email? Do I want it to go to a form? For today, we're going to say we want it to go to a form. I'm going to remove the button text. I'm going to say book today. And last but not least, you got two options here. You can create a brand new form if you have never done one before, or if you've created one in your library, select import from Travify. And all of your forms are going to show up here. And I'm going to select the booking form. Select save. And just like last time, we're going to preview this to make sure that it looks and works good. So I'm scrolling all the way to the bottom, select book now. And what I love about forms that are on the page builder is that it's going to do a little pop-up window for the clients. They can put their information in. And once they submitted it, they're still on the website or the page that you've created. And just to go a bit further, Forms, once upon submission, it's going to create an automatic contact for them or update a previous contact if you've already created that for them as well. That way it's a little bit easier to manage all of the interested people who are wanting to go on this trip. But that is all there is to landing pages. If you'd like to set up a training with us, if you have any specific questions, feel free to chat us right here within your account or reach out to us at professional at travify.com. But thanks so much for watching and make sure to check out the rest of our getting started video guide.